What are you doing, little girl? Watch out. I'll get you guys some more water here in a minute, okay? You're silly. What's up, guys? I have got to go to town. Truck hasn't moved since Friday morning. And I'd say my back's about the same. But the difference is I know it ain't gonna get any worse, at least I hope. <clears throat> so I gotta get in this truck. So I got it right now. I've got to uh, get in the truck. I think the easiest way is to drive around the property. I've got several bags of trash I gotta load up. It's starting to stink. Are you gonna be my assistant? Yeah, and still got the old cane. But I'm out of dog food. I need groceries. Let me put this tailgate up. Ah! So I got no choice. But I should be okay. It's just getting in this truck is, I don't think that's gonna be an issue. I mean, put the defroster on. There it is. <laughs> defrost, defrost. You go around the other side and hit that defroster. Yeah, it's about 40 degrees. I got automatic defrosters on the windshield. Defrost, defrost. All right, let's see if I can get in this thing. Uh, yeah, man, there's Melly. How come you didn't come when I called you this morning, Melly? She don't care, she just ignores me. Didn't think this through when I bought it. I'm just gonna give it a test run here. Oh yeah, I should be able to get in. Uh, if you got a bad back, don't buy a big truck. We got a waddle. Uh, let's go give them. A, we're gonna go give them some scratch. You already had your scratch, AKA milk bone. Yeah. You're gonna eat that GoPro, I know you. Oh. Yeah, animals don't care how you feel. They want their stuff, man. This was another brilliant idea. Putting these things on here that are, I gotta set you guys down. Alright, let's go get in this truck. Chickens are satisfied. And normally, normally I go to Dollar General if I'm not going to Walmart to get my dog food. But the problem uh, about that store is they put the cans of dog food on the very bottom shelf. And I, there's no way I'll be able to, I have a hard time when I'm my normal. There's no way I'm going to be able to get that, so have to pay a higher price at the grocery store, get a couple cans, so. All right, let me get up in here. Uh, let's see, this needs to be in the truck. All right, let me get in here, guys. I don't think like it's gonna be too difficult. You stay out of the way, Tilly. There ain't no problem. I'm not so worried about Not so worried about getting in and out of the truck. I'm worried about how my how it's gonna beat me to death driving up and down these crappy roads. Alright. Well, where'd they move the keyhole to? Alright, good, I got gas. Alright. Defrost on. Alright. 
right, let me pull around and load up some trash and we're off. All right, you gonna hold the fort down while I'm gone? You look pretty comfortable in there. You know, on the Afghans. I don't think you're gonna move while I'm gone. You'll be in the same spot when I get back. You. All tucked away in the corner underneath the pillow. Alrighty. We are off. Oh, it took me forever to find my wallet, which I can't go without my wallet. And then it took me forever to find my keys, which I just had because I got it. Uh, let's go dump this trash. It's pretty easy getting in the truck. Where's that tree stump? Man, I got to grind those tree stumps down. I don't know how many times I've hit them. would think with all this land wouldn't have to have obstacles in the way nope all right i don't think this is going to be my driveway is worse than the road so i'm not feeling anything there the hardest part is going to be uh being on my feet in the grocery store but i hit my back I mean, it, it always feels better in the morning than as the day drags on you know, if you're up and down a lot. So I think we're we're good. We're past the worst stuff. And these tires aren't the best. I'm getting, I was supposed to get my new tires put on today. That got put ahead till Wednesday, which is fine with me. Uh, oh yeah, I feel it. But nothing I can do. I gotta get some dog food. All right, let me get out of here. Get as close to this dump stuff as I can. this truck I got that lumbar support in the seat that helps heck this is more comfortable than my office chair right, here we go I got cabin fever man it's only been three days well actually I hurt myself early Friday morning so technically Friday Saturday Sunday this is the fourth day I think I'm gonna go to the dollar store and just ask. I, uh, 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 go to the dollar store and uh, uh, request some help to get the dog food because it's 60 cents cheaper than Hart's, the grocery store. That place they rape you on everything. It's terrible. And Rooster's little dinners. Forgot my sunglasses. Rooster's Little Dinners are a dollar, they used to be a dollar, they're a dollar twenty-five at the dollar store, and they're like a dollar ninety, a dollar ninety, almost two dollars at the grocery store, but I can reach them. The dollar store, if you'll notice, the dollar store has shelving all the way to the floor. Whereas your standard store has got, a, it's probably got a foot and a half difference on the bottom. And then they start the shelving. Well, the dollar store's rule is to get as much merchandise in there as they can possibly get, which is fine. But they're not thinking of the older people on some of the products they, you know, they put on the shelf, where they put it. And usually in a grocery store, I gotta turn this heat down, man. Usually in a grocery store, 
the prime the the premium items are are eye level right straight across from you uh, they don't do that at dollar general that's how they you'll find your cheaper products on uh, the lower shelves or the taller shelves but they want you, you know they want the good stuff right at your eye level all right yeah this don't seem to be bothering me so we we may be on the mend i'm still in pain but yeah i've all i'm always in pain from something Woo, stuffy oh, i wish i had electric windows right now oh. but i don't mind these crank windows you know why because they don't go out like electric windows so i never complained about that all right, I do got my cane with me. I'm not really, don't have to use it. I get in the grocery store, I'll get one of those, you know, shopping cart. It's a walker, basically. That'll be good. I'm pretty much good to go. Just, I can't, can't do much work right now. Dishes are out of the question. And I'm behind Slowy Slowerson. I always get behind this guy drives 30 miles an hour. Alright. <laughs> Gotta wave at him. That's a rule here. Alright guys, I'm gonna shut you off and pick you up here in a bit. Alright. Mission accomplished down to the grocery store. This is our new Dollar General, and the shelves, although the dog food was on the bottom shelf, the shelves are higher in this one. So I was able to get them myself. Uh, didn't feel good, but nobody was around to. They don't have a lot of employees in these stores, maybe two at the most. Yeah. And they had a whole bunch in the other one because they were training them, I guess, for this new one. Oh. Now I think we're gonna hit the post office. Now let's tootle through downtown and swing around. Now I gotta think of something to get to eat, maybe to throw in the crock pot. Now, Jeff did go to the store for me yesterday. Uh, I figured I'd be able to go today. So I just had him pick me up a few things. I needed water, bottled water. I didn't need it, but they're handy. You can just grab a bottle and go sit at my desk or whatever. Because I don't have an ice maker, so I gotta make ice. That's what I should have bought when I was in there, new ice cube trays. Uh, well, it ain't no big deal. What is today? Monday? Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, this ain't as hard as I thought it would be. It's not. This chair, I mean, this truck rides rough, but this chair is comfortable. The seat is pretty well cushioned real good. These work trucks always are pretty rough riding. But when you get a load in them, that's how the way they're built that way. When you get a load in them, they ride smooth as silk. Because these are built for carrying heavy loads. Right, I'm just going to leave you guys rolling while I'm in there. Of course, all the near parking spots are... Well, there's one. Ain't too bad. Look at this wise crack. Taking up two spots. turn you guys off then okay nothing in either mailbox no news is good news right and I am eligible if I wanted to I could get it a handicap parking thing but I don't want to take that away from you know parking spots away from somebody that really can't walk I mean I would only use it in these kind of situations when I hurt my back or something but most of the time 
I'll park in the back and walk because it's good exercise. But today, I could probably use the handicap parking. But it's all right. And especially now that I got VA disability, I could get a disabled veteran tag for free and never have to pay for nothing. But I ain't gonna do that either. I don't like advertising that fact on my license plate that I'm disabled. Because most of the time I can walk just fine. But I do qualify for that if I need it. Probably wouldn't hurt to have one of them placards in the glove box in case I injured myself like today. But also at the same time, you know, the walking does you some good, but you're limited on how far and how long you can be on your feet. That's the only difficulties I'm having. I'm not in much pain, but being on my, the longer I'm on my feet, you know, and then it starts coming in. But uh, so far, so good. And I'm going to pick up a few groceries. Turkey, man, they decorate for everything nowadays. And there's another one with a turkey. And there, and there, you can go get a photo of Santa. They've had Christmas stuff in the stores for weeks. It gets, they're going to be having it in Fourth of July here before late long. All right, looks like we got a fire up there somewhere. Slow down, slow down. Well, thank you for taking my parking spot. Always in a hurry, people. I'm not gonna park there. I'm gonna be a rebel and walk. I'm gonna park way out here. Because I need to. Oh. I'm stubborn. Alright, oh, guys. guys that that was punishing I'm not kidding you <laughs> I needed a, quite a few things not not really so much food well, I did get some food but man, I gotta turn this heat off I was out of like butter and garlic minced garlic stuff like that and boy did that garlic go up right, let me get out of here I'll tell you what, you don't realize how inconsiderate people really are until you're injured and you can't move fast. And I, you know, some people look good. They look like they're fine to the eye, but they're not feeling in there, you know, what you're feeling. I can't move that fast. And, uh, oh. But anyway, I got some ribeye steak. I'm gonna put on that little grill because if I can't do much I'm gonna eat some good stuff and then I got stuff to make I got a taste for don't pull out in front of me got stuff to make a uh, salad got potatoes at home so I'm gonna whip up a good meal today but yeah it's uh towards the end of shopping there I was starting to really feel it but I got through it probably gonna be another probably the rest of this week probably before I'm back to where I can do stuff and I had to make sure I buy things that I don't use my oven on my stove I don't use it anymore and I got a toaster oven that usually works for about everything but it's on the floor and it's not very light so I can't use that so I got stuff that I can make either in the you know I got stuff to make ham or uh, tacos that's stove top things like that got me some of my raviolis I like so now we're now, ooh, I do feel those bumps now we're headed back there ain't a whole lot else I can film man so you get to go with me on my shoppings yeah, what else was going on uh, yeah like I said Jeff went to the grocery store yesterday for me and just picked up a few things I was I actually started making a list for them and I said you know what I, I, I'm feeling all right today but maybe tomorrow I'm good enough to go and I, I am looks like they're building something else over here man 
this town. You can tell people are moving here from out of state because things are starting, uh, they're building a lot more stuff. I don't know what's going on. So maybe for this town, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, there's the hardware store where it all began. All right, so we're headed back home. It hasn't been real hard taking care of the, I can, I can bend down. I have to be really careful and do it slow. And I just kind of bend on one knee and just kind of ease down there. So I've been able to feed them regular, you know. Nothing's changed with them. I, I can't recall. There was one time I got injured so bad that I couldn't feed them for like a month. But I had this guy coming over to do it. Uh, that was before I lived here. And he, he came over and took care of it. There was a lot more dogs there. There was about 14 of them. So that is a, a feat. Yeah, I got plenty of gas. So I don't have to worry about that. Let me put this window up. Ah, not easy. So I should be back, back running normal here in a few days, I hope. I've just been taking it easy. I know better. Putting the ice on. I mean, I'm not in any pain unless I'm doing something, bending over, or walking. That seems to be the number one thing. It's not so much pain. It's when you're on your feet too long, then it starts hurting. But if I can control that, you know, I'll heal up pretty good. Been taking a little bit of ibuprofen. I, I don't take a lot of stuff for pain or... I take uh, 400 milligrams of my ibuprofen once a day, and that's all I've been taking. That seems to help, but you know, you can only look at the internet screen so long. <laughs> I went in yesterday and went, got tired of surfing the net and watching YouTube, and I went in to uh, the living room, sat in the recliner, watched Idiocracy. And if you haven't watched that movie, watch it. And if you haven't watched it in a while, watch it again because that's pretty much what we're becoming to a degree. Yeah, I ain't gonna spoil, give you a spoiler alert on the movie, but it's pretty, pretty funny. But it's pretty eye-opening too. Uh, basically, just in 500 years, the world has become so stupid. That the average, uh, it's, you'll have to go watch the movie. Some guy goes forward into the future from our time, and he's not very bright. But in their world, you know, he's the smartest human on earth. <laughs> Luke Wilson, he's a pretty good actor. But yeah, if you got YouTube Premium, you got a lot of movies you can watch on YouTube as well. So that's one benefit. I mean, I. I don't even really know what I pay for it. I think it's thirteen or fourteen ninety nine now, because they were it was eleven ninety nine when I started it. So, but this new road is nice. I don't feel any bumps, but you'll notice how I head bumps around here in a minute when I turn on my road. It is horrible. Take a beating. It's a nice day though. Too nice to be inside, but I don't have any. I could go sit outside in the porch, I guess. Rooster didn't want to go out this morning, but she's going out when I get home. Alright, made it home. Oh, dude, dude. I'm going to get my gorilla cart load everything in that bring it in the back door Gotta get the rooster's biscuit. You can't get in there until I put it in there. Good morning, Miss Lily. What are you doing? What's that boy up to? Is he out too? 
Alright. What are they going after? That one uh, German Shepherd dog over there is. He's going to be a problem. But Millie bit him in the butt the other day. But they, they went. They uh, were going to go over there the other day. Where's Millie? she in the back? She better not be the one they're barking at. And she doesn't usually go anywhere. Yeah, well, I got to get my groceries in. You going to help me? All right, got everything loaded up. This is going to make it a lot easier. What do you want, boy? Oh, I got to get my cane out of the truck. I forgot. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I didn't have a back door for about, let's see, about seven years. So it's nice to have a back door again. Right now, can I open this door wide enough? Oh, yeah. These gorilla carts are nice to have. That's good enough. Here's my old walker. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to get this stuff in the house. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.